What's up guys, if you remember my last video, I covered an interview with the developers, some questions were asked in typical interview fashion with answers given, and then the rest of the article was basically regurgitated information that we've already discussed or seen on the channel before, so I ignored the rest of it. However, there was one important thing I missed out, this was completely an accident, I apologize for that, but to be honest, I'm a little bit glad as well that I missed it out, because this one's one of the more interesting questions, and I can make a whole video on this to be honest, because the topic is actually about the length of Resident Evil 7 and that gives us a lot to discuss about how the pacing is going to go, about how the story is going to progress and things and how long it's going to take to get through it. So yeah, basically the question was asked how long is the length of Resident Evil 7 going to be? Uh, it was asked in a very weird way because again, Japanese translation is directly to English are weird, but the actual implication is how long is the game going to be? So the developers answered and they said it's going to be relatively around Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6's gameplay length. So just to give people who have no idea out there an estimation, if you were playing Resident Evil 5 on your first playthrough and you're taking it casually, it's going to take anywhere from 15 hours to about 20 hours to complete the game. And Resident Evil 6 was about 25 to 30 hours on average. I mean, if you're a good player on these games, you can beat them in under that, of course. And if you speed run them, you can complete them in a few hours. It's absolutely ludicrous. But for most people, it's about 15 to 20 for Resident Evil 5 and 25 to 30 for Resident Evil 6. So if the developer said it's in between, we can probably assume that the playthrough of Resident Evil 7 is going to be around 20 to 25 hours long. Maybe if you're a good and quick player, you can complete it in 10 to 15 hours, but for the average player, it's going to take a few days at least. Now this is also considering normal difficulty because I think the insane difficulties and especially the Madhouse difficulty are going to take the difficulty cap so high that the game's length will probably increase by at least 50%. Looking at this, I honestly have a few opinions. If the game's length is going to be around 20 hours on average, that means that you're going to become a veteran to the horror. You're not really going to be feeling it by the end of the game. If you add a mixture of playing the game for 15 hours, so about five hours before you've got to the end, you've gotten all that combat experience, the mechanical experience, you've gotten used to the enemy's attacks, the formations they're in, the locations, their speeds. You also have a plethora of weaponry available to you and you know how to use them all the different rounds the effectiveness that they have against the different mobs etc etc and if there's any critical points or things you need to hit you figured all that stuff out so you're kind of a veteran I wouldn't really say one of the zombies popping up really has the same effect of scare on you again mix the combat experience the mechanical experience and the advantage of weaponry that you've gotten through the game we know that some of the more explosive weaponry and magnums and things are going to be making a return so by the end of the game you're definitely going to feel like a badass again now the reason I'm saying this is because they said it's going to be a survival game game again. It's, it's going to feel like an outbreak, like you're just trying to get out of there and escape. But I really honestly think that they're just trying to say that for the first few hours of the game, maybe for the first five, maybe even the first 10 hours. To keep the experience fresh and exciting, they've got to introduce new elements to us. So this is where I think the supernatural elements are going to come into play. We're going to see big BOWs again. We're going to traverse the different environments that are full of high tier technology, like umbrella labs and the things that we're used to like that. We've already seen hints at this with the computer chip, which is completely out of place compared to everything else. They've got VHS tapes that are labeled 2017 with really old TVs and telephones. So obviously the contrast between technology is really weird and with the length of the game being so long they can't just keep throwing us into the same garage and mansion environment which is also why I believe that the demo and all the trailers that we've seen were from the first one to two hours of the game. We know we're getting magnums and all this other weaponry which implies we're going to have to fight some really powerful enemies. I definitely don't see the Baker surviving many magnum rounds or explosives for example. So I would assume as the game gets past the 10 hour length the environments and the guns and things are going to elaborate much faster we're going to be going into the more high tier technology we're going to get machine guns maybe and other things we're going into labs and seeing research documents and probably getting a background story on the virus or whatever's being used at hand at the moment I'm not going to say it's a virus because we don't know I'll just say that whatever's causing this infection and the first 10 hours of the game is going to be probably mostly melee oriented and very survival you're going to feel very powerless like the enemies have the complete advantage and you can't really fight back. The other interesting thing is the VHS tapes are going to throw us out of whack both ways. Even if you're late in the game and you've got all these badass weapons, you might hit a VHS tape and you're back to a defenseless person once again. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about this anyway. What do you think of the pacing of the game? So like I said, the game's going to be around 20 hours long. So that means that's quite a good experience for a single player game and that the pacing has got to take a turn at some point. We can't just keep seeing the same environment. So let me know what you think about 
that. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video and you want to support me I try and get all the latest information and give good opinions on it, unique opinions and things that haven't been talked about before then please hit the like and subscribe button that would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Take it easy and peace. Thank you.